would let Stepped out one morning The ground to be his So today is a very good day. Today is a day I've waited for for 12 years, and it's to get another dirt bike. I had to sell, or Mrs. W and I, we had to sell our dirt bikes about, I guess it was 12 years ago, uh, when we were uh, decided to um, sell our home and our business and for her to quit work and to uh, move out to the country. And I didn't know if I'd ever get another one or get back into it. and. You know, as we talked about in videos uh, a couple, you know, a week ago or so back, you know, looking for things that Jack and I can do together, and we kind of settled on this was a really important one that we, there's two things that we really enjoy doing is, is skiing in the winter time, and uh, we thought we'd get into dirt biking in the spring, summer, and the fall. Um, and I, he has now has a riding partner, so I wanted to, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of questions about the bike, so I wanted to do just a quick video and an overview and kind of why I chose this and, and, uh, and answer some of those common questions. So uh, the last bike that I had was a 450 KTM EXC, uh, a four-stroke bike, and that was um, 12 years ago. And I bought when I bought it, it was about five years old. So it wasn't. You know, it, was, it was a pretty old bike. And it's. Um, I, I kept talking to guys. My brother-in-law. You know, he he rides a lot up here in the area, and all the guys around here are have switched over to to basically these bikes. I think the general consensus is is that the, the KTM 300, the Husqvarna 300, the both the same bike, um, is is about as good as you can get for this area for a woods bike. But being a two-stroke, I was a little bit uh, I, I was I didn't think I'd buy a two-stroke, and I I wasn't planning on until about a, doing it until a week ago. First bike that I had was a KX, a Kawasaki. It was a 250 two-stroke. And then I rode, uh, I had a 500 for a while, and those bikes were so terrifying. They were so powerful, and the power band hit so hard that I, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to. Uh, just thinking about getting on with those bikes, it gives, makes my palms sweat. They were just so gnarly. And so I, I, was, I was afraid of them, really, when I was looking at bikes. And, and so uh, everyone kept telling me, no, it's these new two-strokes, they're completely different. They're, they don't vibrate. They're a lot more uh, smoother power band that they lug, and they... All, all that stuff. So th today's the first day that I've thrown my leg over one of these. I've never, I've never ridden, one, ridden one. I just took it in faith that it was going to be good because everyone else had one. I have to say this is a, this is an awesome bike. <laughs> this is an awesome bike. I've only got about a half hour on it. I just ripping around here, but it's just I was laughing and smiling the whole time. It is incredibly powerful and light and responsive, and it's just. Perfect. It's just perfect. I am so excited uh, for this day. I'm so excited to to get back into. I've always had motorcycles my whole life, and and you know, kind of changing directions and and moving out here and developing properties and raising kids and all of that. I just I, I kind of just put it put it away, and, and I never thought that I'd revisit it again. And um, man, I'm excited. I am so excited. So, um, yeah, that's it. So my, this is the, the Husqvarna TE300. Um, the only thing I had done to it is I put a recluse clutch in it, uh, which I like to run those. I'll be switching the, uh, I'll take off the rear brake. I'll be putting both brakes on the handlebars. Put in some bark busters so I don't smash my trees. If I hit, hit or hands, if I hit trees, maybe a guard or two, spark arrestor, but that's probably about it. It's just, it just is ready to race and it's just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal bike. So. I'm excited. So I'll show you. Uh, so we got Jack a bike. So we bought two bikes. We bought one for me and one for Jack. I don't think I've shown you his bike yet, have I? No. I'll bring it around here and I'll show you what we got for him for a starter bike, which I fear that he'll probably outgrow it by the end of uh, end of the summer. So here's Jack's bike. This is a, a 2018 Honda CRF 125 big wheel. They make two of these. Uh, it's nice they have electric start. These are just workhorse little bikes. They're wonderful bikes. They're not uh, not super high performance, so they they're they're durable and just super super reliable. 
Um, it's a bit, it's a bit on the small side for Jack. He's not uh, he's not rode dirt bikes before. He's been on quads. He's pretty aggressive and competent quad rider, but dirt bikes are a whole different thing. And so, rather than jump up to the 150 and give him something that was just a little bit big, I thought, you know what? Let's put him on the 125 and uh, let him get the feel of it, and then he will outgrow this pretty quickly. Um, and this is going to be a great little cruiser for Mrs. W. Uh, she's just not, she's not going to be super into it. Uh, she's had a bike before and, and she's okay kind of cruising around camp and, you know, on single tracks and stuff. But the, it's a very different day of me going out with my friends or when Jack, when he gets a little bit better and then when I go out with her. Um, so what I was thinking was that the 125 will become her little camp bike that she can run around and then Jack can get into, into something bigger. So that's kind of why I, I went with the Honda. I know a lot of people are going to ask why I didn't buy a Honda, and I, I wanted to. It was certainly on my list, um, but you know, Honda doesn't make anything like this. This uh, Husqvarna, the 300. They don't. Honda doesn't even make a two-stroke anymore. They haven't for years, and their X bikes or their Woods bikes. I mean, they're they're what going on 10 years old. They just are, are just don't seem to be interested. These bikes are just light years ahead of them, in my in my opinion. Um, and having a two-stroke and that weight lightness of it is um, is pretty phenomenal. So that's kind of why I didn't go with the Honda. So it was either the KTM 300 or the Husqvarna 300, and it almost came down to which one looked better, you know, because they're so both of them are so similar. But the KTM is nice because you or the Husqvarna is nice because you get for the same price you get some better stuff. You get a progressive link rear suspension. You get better forks, better suspension. You get a skid plate, just a couple little goodies that. And, and I just like the color. It just looked really, really, really nice. So. So that's it. So there will be, uh, uh, we'll be doing some, we'll take you along, we'll do some dirt bike videos uh, this spring. I'm not, we're not going to turn into a dirt bike channel, but uh, um, as you know, I, I know this doesn't really fall into the realm of, of acts and homesteading videos, but as I've always done and I've always told you, I, I bring you along for whatever we're, whatever we're doing and whatever we're into. And, and it's winter time, there's not a lot going on and uh, it's time to kind of, um, uh, no, just spend time together with Jack and and, uh, and and enjoy ourselves and have a good time. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys on the on the next one.